The spark of the revolution started in the east from Megazi city, in the west of Libya from the mountains, and in the center of Tripoli. A torch arriving from the east and one from the west will meet in the middle of Tripoli to represent victory and freedom. This ceremony in Tripoli's Martyrs Square brought thousands of Libyans onto the streets of the capital. They were there to remember all the people involved in the revolution, including the various international forces under NATO and those who lost their lives fighting for freedom. Ali Malid from the western Nafusa mountain range has been honoured with carrying one of the torches. Certainly it's a great feeling of joy that I'm carrying this torch which represents Libya's honour for the 17th of February revolution. This event has come at a time when the National Transitional Council is working to develop a new Libya still reeling from the recent revolution. The biggest problem being faced is the lack of authority over weapons on the streets with security still in the hands of militias and former rebels, and no national police or army yet ready to take their place. Already armed groups have engaged in deadly skirmishes with each other. In the face of these difficulties, bringing the police and rebels together to light the main torch was extremely symbolic. There is no difference between us. We have the same religion, the same country. There is no difference between us, East and West. We are all one. These people who hosted this event wanted to show the world that we are united, even in times of trouble. It's just a matter of time until the wise members of the NTC, who we stand by, will solve these simple problems. This is the NATO Channel reporting from Tripoli.